Thank you, Callan, um, and thank you, everybody, for having um, invited me along. Uh, I am super excited to be at such a wonderful event, a great start to the Thursday morning, um, and I'm delighted that NAB is a key sponsor here today. Professor Scott E. Page from University of Michigan um, has, for some years now, through research, demonstrated that consistently, cognitively diverse groups of people outperform homogenous groups when they are looking at complex problems. There are many business leaders for whom just the social impact of having diverse teams of people hasn't been enough. And so what's been really powerful about that research is it's actually given business uh, a business reason to have diverse groups of people alone. NAB, like many organizations today, has a diversity and inclusion strategy. And in that, we've committed to ensure an inclusive, accessible, barrier-free workplace that enables people with disabilities to succeed. But before we can do that, we have to attract and retain people. Before we can, ret uh, we have to attract and recruit people before we can retain them. And that means for us, thinking differently about the systems we use to advertise roles, challenging ourselves on what skills we actually need for roles, and broadening our minds when we look at the recruitment process. For many people, neurodiverse people included, the standard corporate attract and recruit processes don't work. And so there are barriers in place before people can even get a foot in the door to demonstrate the value that they can bring. And so NAB is trying to address this systemically through our accessibility action plan. Um, and we have a number of commitments that we have gone public with around um, driving greater um, recruitment opportunities and then once people are actually in NAB um, and we can help with our employee resource group and ability to provide them with better career opportunities and not just have them brought in and stuck in a corner. I know a number of you will have heard today from Tracy Edwards. Um, she has been an absolute driving force and while as an organization, we are trying systemically to make a change. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, it takes time to change a system. And so we are heavily reliant upon individuals to really have that commitment and perseverance to make change. She has been relentless um, over the past three years in agitating for us to partner with Dandelion Program. Um, and at the end of last year, she managed to get the message across. She had leadership um, commitment, um, and we joined forces with the Dandelion Programme. Um, and we committed to a three-year programme with them to have six participants join NAB. What's been wonderful about that is that even before the participants joined, we have had some in-depth training. So the team that these people are uh, were joining were all put through training um, so that they could properly support the participants when they joined. And in addition, that training was offered and taken up by other people outside of that team. And so it's starting really to build a movement of success, um, which is also really important to have that demonstration coming through the organization. Just after Easter, um, in late April, early May, the six participants joined the team. Now that's just three months ago. Now I don't know about you, but in the first three months I'm in any role, I am below competent. I'm kind to myself, I appreciate that's where I'm going to be, but I am not at full competency in the first three months. In the first three months, the six participants have outperformed the rest of the team by 23%, which is fantastic. And 
being a, a bank and being a data-driven organisation, that's a wonderful data point which Tracy has been able to share with members of our executive team, which demonstrates the success of the programme. Um, I want to share with you just a couple of the quotes from both the participants and from um, other team members, which um, just demonstrates to me the, the real value here. Um, the first one that I really love is, um, I came up with a brilliant additional requirement to a tool set that Ryan had been designing. Upon raising the requirement to Ryan, he had not only thought of the same, but had already developed it. It just seemed logical to me, to him. My brilliance was his obvious. Um, and from the participants, I don't have the crippling anxiety I had in previous jobs where I was waiting to see how long they would tolerate me before I had to leave. I think that's awful that anybody should feel that in any environment. And so for somebody not to feel that is, is just fantastic. Um, and one of my favourites, um, I won't read all of this, um, but just the, the last sentence in here. I get less complaints from my mum. She's found new things to complain about, but the overall amount of complaining is down. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with a quote from Robert M. Hensel. There's no greater disability in society than the inability to see a person as more. And this just demonstrates that. Thank you. Thank you.